Hey, welcome to today's daily sprint. We're talking about increasing our purpose, passion, and meaning. Say hi to Erica. So, hey, we were just talking, uh, someone in our business development program, shout out to Elisa Wadsworth. If you're looking for a nutrition coach, check out Elisa Wadsworth. She is a mom faith-based, uh, she loves hiking, um, search and rescue. Dude, just check her out. Just if you wanna know a bad, bad person. And when I say bad, I mean cool. <laughs> so anyway, um, she had a question and she's like, hey, um, you know, I've been doing a lot of messaging and is there another way? Because here's the thing, when you're building a business, whether it's a, a brick and mortar or whatever, you know, when I was building the gyms, nobody likes the, the cold calls. Nowadays, it's cold messaging. So marketers know we don't like that. So they're gonna be pitching other options. So here's a few things to, to think about that puts things in perspective for me, is I have a, a business here at Macromillionaire that I believe, I know, I don't know, I don't believe, I know, and believe blesses lives. It provides an entrepreneurial mechanism or system for fitness-minded people to go out and create time and financial freedom for themselves and help other people get in great shape. It's awesome, okay? My problem is people have no idea Jesse Dale exists. No idea that Macromillionaire exists. So that's the problem. So how do we get this out to others? So when we own the gyms, we would do cold calls. You know, we'd call out of the phone book and let people know that our gym exists. You know, yeah, occasionally, very occasionally, people would drive by and be like, I saw your sign, okay. Um, sometimes we would do like mailers, it was like eight grand to do a mailer. And you know, like one out of a thousand would come in and be like, hey, I got your mailer, okay. But for the most part, people did not know that we existed. So my job number one was to let them know that we exist and the most cost effective way to do that was to call them or I knocked on doors and let them know that we exist that's it no other better way to to do it so the beauty of what we have with social media is if say you're a nutrition coach or any type of coach you can then go and seek after people that might be in the market for what you're doing and let them know you exist that's it hey I exist if there's a problem in your life that I can help solve, I exist. And through social media, you're able to then go ahead and do that. So are there other forms? Yeah, there's the post and pray. Like I put a sign up at our gyms and I prayed that the 40,000 cars that drove by. And what's ironic is we would hear more often than that people I'd cold call. And these would be like people that live like less than 800 uh, yards down the road, like houses that were literally right next door to us. And they're like, there's a gym right there? I had no idea. So here's the thing, when you're doing the attraction marketing, which is awesome, my wife uh, teaches a great course on that, and that's probably what a lot of these people are pitching, is hey, we're gonna get to leads to come to you. Here's the thing, of the millions of people scrolling through Facebook, very, very few of them are gonna be captured to see what you have going on and then have the courage to ask. But that number is cut down substantially when you go to them and say, hey, not sure if you're in the market for this, but this is what I do. Based off what I'm seeing on your social media, I think you might be a good fit. Can I share more information? So there's just no better way than the old fashioned knocking on doors, sending a message, picking up the phone, and just letting people know, hey, guess what? I exist. And then every you know 100 people that you let know you exist, 10 of them are gonna be like, wow, I had no idea. I'm interested. This is going to bless me. Thank you so much for reaching out, okay? There are other methods. You can pay someone to do your reach out. Eh, that's gonna be, you know, if they're talking to some guy in like India, uh, they might not like that. They might be like, wait a minute, I wanna talk to you, okay? You can do like a bot. We, we hire people to set up funnels and it'd be a little robot they would talk to you and it'd be like, hi, Mary, with a little smiley face. And eh, I don't know, do you wanna talk to a robot? When you need help, do you want to talk to a robot or do you want to talk to a human being? So those are all diff just different things to, eat, to think about. Now I'm not saying that once you build your business, your online business to a certain amount, kind of the 10 grand a month is, is what I would think, then yeah, maybe farm some of these things out. But until then, people need to know your heart. They need to know that you exist. So that's what I would encourage you to do. We do, I did do a podcast on this. There are other ways 
to let people know that you exist other than cold calls and cold messages. And I don't think the cold messages are really that cold because you know, you're, you're able to target people with similar uh, interests, similar beliefs, so not very cold like calling out of a phone book back in the day. But yeah, check out our Macro Millionaire podcast. Um, we do talk about other organic ways that don't cost you much money or any money that you can get your business out there. So check that out and have a great growth-driven rest of your day.